Hey there, Simidian here and welcome back to Morrowind. The last time we finished off full clearing Sobator, the modded area up here north of Ardenfell, which is really hard. And then we went back and turned the quest in and it turns out we're not done, so gotta go back. Between videos I went to my tent, I put a lot of stuff away, and I did a little bit of alchemy with the new Dwemer alchemy tools that I found in the, uh, what do you call it? in Sobator. And it turns out that these quality 5 alchemy tools are really overpowered. So I've got some very strong potions here now. Like this one that restores health 53 points every second for 91 seconds. Seems pretty good. Combine it with some restore fatigue stuff. I actually made some potions with more than two ingredients. So I've got this bad boy. I call it a combat potion. Actually not that good, but Fortify Strength 204 and Fortify Agility 204 seems pretty good. And Spell Absorption will help me survive against some, like, spellcasters. So, and I've got just a bunch of Fortify Strength potions for when I'm fighting things that aren't, like, bosses, but... You know, things that are moderately difficult, and having an extra 204 strength, that seems like it could be pretty good. So yeah, I've got a bunch of new shields, or new potions. And today, we're going to head back to Sobator. And I'm going to get the way, the way I got there before. I'm going to head to Caldera, and from the Caldera Mages Guild, take the teleporter to the Astrologians Guild. And then just water walk. Um, I don't know if I should be, like, using these potions. Because they're qual- the Dwemer alchemy tools, they're not on me anymore, I put them away in my tent, but the Dwemer alchemy tools are quality 5. And the Grandmaster alchemy tools are quality 1.5. So that is a huge difference. It is a big jump in quality from Grandmaster to those Dwemer ones. So... I'd be happy happy to talk. To make modded video games they're really hard and everything you get from them is really overpowered so I guess I deserve some sort of reward for doing this area though I did kind of turn down the difficulty to make it easier And it's not like I'm looping the alchemy with it, you know. So I figure it's fine having some overpowered potions. Just a few, just a few, as a treat. If I feel like the potions are too strong, I might go back to using the Grand Master Alchemy tools instead. Just to get me some... Uh, do I have any of my old stuff with me? Yeah. So this is one of the restore health potions I was using before. It restores health 13 points for 23 seconds. And it's a that's a big jump. Like 13 to 53 points and then 23 seconds to 91 seconds. That's a very large jump. These are extremely powerful. And I guess I'll see how I feel. I can always turn the difficulty up more to take advantage of the fact that I now have insane potions at my disposal. Speaking of which, I am still at 25 difficulty, which I turned it back up to before. So if I need to fight something here, well, I'm going to be trying it at 25 difficulty and I'm going to be using some of my new potions. Now, Master Aryan flipped out when he heard that this facility was operational and told me to meet him in the alchemy area in here and to bring a sealed Dwemer package which I dropped on the floor hello Welcome, sir. I feel as though I look move. look my guy the mood and mule egg mine that's tomorrow maybe Here's your wrapped package. Let me see this. Aryan carefully unwraps the package and gasps. 
This is worse than I thought, Shari Lightfoot. This is a newly drawn map of targets to attack on Vardenfell. This facility isn't just active, it's getting ready to continue the war between the Ke Keimer and the Dwemer in the present day. Here, take these potions I've made while you were gone. You will need them soon. I suggest you learn to use the apparatus around us. They are powerful alchemy tools, and you may need all the help you can get. Yeah, they sure are fucking powerful alchemy tools. So they're trying to continue the war, huh? I'm afraid so, my friend. This facility is almost ready to strike if they have distributed orders already. We must be sure, Shari Lightfoot. Go to the opposite end of the facility and look for the smithy. Bring me proof. The Dwemer always made a unique shield for major battles. I must insist on going around outside so as to avoid the formation grounds for at the moment. We don't want the upper command of these cyborgs to know what we are aware of what's happening, otherwise they will begin the attack immediately. Uh, hmm. I may have done a little bit out of order here. Like, I got to a, I got to a dungeon and full cleared the dungeon. Like, what did they, what did they expect me to do? Avoid a certain room? Okay, so I need to look for a unique shield in the smithy. I'm pretty sure I've already got that and put it away in my tent, but I'm going to double check. Don't go into the formation grounds. Got it. Ignore the cyborg commander. Got it. Listen, Aryan, if you didn't want me full clearing the dungeon, you should have, uh... Actually, you probably did say something about it. But look, it's not my fault. Is it these golem shields? Or is it this shield? Bummer tower shield. Hello. I don't know which shield it's supposed to be. Um, I, I dropped all this stuff on the ground. I guess I can take it now. I don't think that these shields are the ones that I'm looking for. Newly made shield. I guess it could be this one that was just like right there. But I'll take this one with me too. Never mind. No, I won't. Everything here weighing 20,000 tons is very fun and interactive. Am I gonna die? Nope. Never dying. I wonder if doing everything out of order is going to break this quest line. I sure hope not. Hey, is it this one? This is indeed a unique and newly crafted shield, a tower shield at that. This is all the proof I need. This facility is about to launch an attack on all we hold dear, Shari Lightfoot, unless we stop it now. Enter the formation grounds, kill the cyborg commander that is currently there, and bring me its head quickly now before it's too late. Well, thankfully, I didn't deposit the head. Or these two things. Or this thing. You know, the things that looked like they would probably be required for the quest. I didn't deposit those because I'm smart. SMRT. Oh yeah, I noticed when I was uh, using, using this power to fortify my alchemy when I was doing my alchemy stuff. But I have this. Fortify armor 20 points for 30 seconds that I forget that I have. And should probably use before I repair all my stuff in the future, but maybe one day I'll remember. Uh, hi, I have the head. Ah, this is wonderful, Shari Lightfoot. This will put a hold on the attack until they can produce a new commander, which we will prevent. We are about to end the threat this facility presents once and for all. I can tell by your face that you suspect more than I have shared, and you are not wrong. The drilling rig in this facility was not designed to drill for more minerals. It was designed to free an elemental god. Okay. 
Its name is not known to me, but it has long been suspected that there were planes of existence outside of even Oblivion where Elementals and Atronachs originated from, so it is not unreasonable to assume that there would be a lord of this plane. The Dwemer had intended to free this god in the event that they lost the war. Any survivors were to come to the facility and activate the drill, thus making sure that the Dwemer did not die alone. The whole world would burn after they were gone. Even I can hardly believe that the Dwemer had such a ruthless contingency plan, but facts are facts. No matter what, we will stop it. Now, Aryan stops and listens to the rumbling. No! The drill has been activated. Go to the control center, kill the cyborg general, and search his body for a control mechanism for the drill. Only the general could have activated the drill, so he would have the controls to stop it. Hurry, if we don't find a way to turn it off, our world will end. Uh, you mean this? Have that too. No way to turn it off. What? The general crushed the device! Shari Lightfoot, do you realize the implications? There is no way to stop the drill now. This is so silly. that <laughs> I just full cleared this place, did all of the stuff that was required, and now I'm just handing him the stuff piece by piece. This is very silly. There is no way to stop the drill now. Our world is on the brink, my friend, and I fear we will be consumed. <laughs> You both freeze as a horrible grinding sound reverberates through the floor, followed by sounds of collapse and an inhuman roar. No. Sharia Lightfoot, we have failed! That can only be the drill down below. I fear it is too late already, but we must not give up hope. Go below into the mines and investigate the drilling rig. See how bad it truly is, though I fear that a cataclysm has begun for our world. Can I advance? No. Okay. <laughs> a cataclysm. A cataclysm is a horrible catastrophe of unimaginable proportions. Pray we are not looking at the next one for our world. Uh, just clicking these so that they stop being blue and annoying me. Alright, so I need to go to the mines, which I actually haven't been to before. I don't know where those are. So yeah, I can look at these. Quality 5. And I can't look at a Grandmaster... One, but trust me when I say that the Grandmaster ones are quality 1.5. So, these are very large. It's a very large improvement, these Dwemer alchemy tools, compared to the vanilla ones. So, I'm going to quick save and find my way to the mines that I somehow have never been to before. Uh, are they outside, perhaps? I'm gonna try going outside and see if I can find a way over there. The mines down below leads me to believe that there's probably a way down. So I'm just gonna do a quick run around of the island. Let's see if I may have missed an entrance somewhere. It's possible that I missed an entrance on the inside, because, you know... I am not a perfect man. I hate that this place is in a perpetual state of... this. Okay, this is the entry hall that I've been in before. But I never found a way to open this orb. This being land is confusing. There's probably something wrong with the textures that I've that I'm seeing in the uh, area. Yeah, but I have not found a way into the mines. My Magicka being lower because I switched robes to this one is moderately annoying. I don't think levitating up here is the correct choice, but there is a thing over there that I don't think I've been to before. That's the main... Oh, I have been there. Okay, this is the main area. That's where I go in for the alchemy room. That's the observatory, I guess. 
Yeah, I don't think the mines are on the outside. Ow. What? Why are you here? I'm gonna test out my new Fortify Strength potions. Let me just use this real fast. Uh, that increases my carry capacity by a little bit. Okay, I do good damage now. Okay. I absolutely can stay on a higher difficulty if I constantly use these potions. That is fair. Um, I do still take a lot of damage. But... I can live with that, probably? Maybe I can't live with that. I can't believe there were enemies out here. Just randomly on the opposite side of this building. What's that over there? Okay, so the mines are definitely inside somewhere. a bit, get healed up. Uh, where they be? I must have missed a door somewhere, probably. because I do not have the proper warp stabilizer I need to receive it from the destination facility first, okay. Is it in the... I wonder if it's in the lighthouse. I don't think there was an entrance in the smithy, but I'm going to check every area that I've been in just to be sure. That's to the outside, to that door that I still couldn't figure out how to get open. These are just storage rooms. Oh wait, the miner was in Access Hall A. There was a miner in Access Hall A, right? Yeah, Cyborg Miner. Oh, I never went down here. Yeah, I never went down there. I found that, like, the first time I came here. Let me do a little quick save and climb down the ladder. And... I have surprisingly little strength potions, but... Oh, Alright, this guy one-shots me, and my strength potion does not make me... Do a lot of damage to him. Uh, I didn't make any shield potions, so him one-shotting me is not something that I can really stop. Uh, so is it time to turn down the difficulty again? I think so. Let's turn it back down to zero for now. See if he still one-shots me. I'll chug a strength potion. Okay, he doesn't one-shot me anymore, but he does two-shot me. 
which is not ideal. Okay. Check a strength potion. Check a health potion. Give me the long lasting one. This is gonna do damage to me because I'm experiencing toxicity, but I should restore my health very quickly. Which is fair and balanced. Alright, I know what I should do. I should use my Amulet of Admonition to paralyze him. Paralyze him. There we go. And now I can just safely kill him. I was about to say, I don't think I need to restore my fatigue since I'm not missing, but restore fatigue potions are a dime a dozen. I can even use my weaker ones. I don't need to use my better ones. This time I missed again. There we go. Okay, I need to repair this sword. Fortify strength is still on. Like, this is with 277 strength. That is how much damage I am doing to this thing. With 277 strength. Like, <laughs> what the hell? Okay, time to repair my stuff. I'm gonna quick save again in case there's more bullshit down here. Some random ghost does not count as more bullshit. Hole. Seems they would be mining ebony. Like it, it even looks like ebony. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford all of these. Adamantium? Yes, please. What does that do? Burden, Restore Magicka, Poison, Reflect. Shockingly kind of garbage. And it weighs a ton. I mean, Reflect's pretty good. I'm not carrying around 50 pound Adamantium ore, though. Sorry. I'm not going to carry this coal, either. I'll take the coal dust. Raw Shield is pretty good. Fire shield is pretty good. Lightning shield is pretty good. Tiny shield and resist shock. Okay, I'm going to try and keep these in my inventory, but I will drop them if I need to. Okay, so this place is rather sprawling. Oh, rock glass. Diamonds? Don't mind if I do. Hello. Warning, keep the tunnel area around air in clay takes clear to allow full airflow. Failure to do so may cause reduced circulation and a buildup of toxic and or explosive gases. Sounds like I'm going to need to block some airflow to blow some stuff up. That's what that sounds like to me. Oh, I've been here. This is where I was before.
another quick save. So I went this way? I didn't go this way. Oh no, not a ghost. I still have my strength on? How much, how long do these last? 393 seconds? That's a little bit. That's a little bit of time. Yeah, these potions are busted. Oh, another mind guardian? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Calm down. Um, okay. I should restore fatigue. Just one of the weaker ones. Um, I'm not going to have enough time to fully kill this thing with the Paralyze, but I should be able to get him low. And when he comes back up, or when he gets unparalyzed, I can restore health. This is tearing through the durability on my sword. God. This is ridiculous how many hits it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. Alright. I'm out of charges on this. If only I didn't miss, like, 20 hits on the other guy. Trilling Rig Wreckage, huh? To repair my sword. I'm gonna quick save again in case there's baddies. Hello? That guy's having a bad day. Hello. I don't have a whole lot to say, good sir. over there. I want to talk to him in case he has something to say, but he's not going to have something to say. He's going to say the same thing this guy said. I can't believe we never knew about this place. It's huge. Isn't Sobator just amazing? I don't even think this dialogue is right. Like, these are cyborgs. What do you mean they didn't know about this place? <laughs> Shouldn't they know? Weren't they made here? Oh, dear. I mean, I can kill these guys in one hit, so I'm not too worried about the f the uh, flame action hucks. Oh, you are some sort of enemy. Oh, I should put my spell absorption amulet back on. No. Since I'm not using the animation amulet. Well, there are a bunch of flame adrenox in here. And those other things. My journal updated. I have entered the wreckage of Sobatura's drilling rig and it has and is has collapsed into the hole it was drilling. There are creatures of flame all around the ring, and I feel an intense heat welling up from the hole. I need to get back to Aryan immediately and see what can be done. A cataclysm has begun. Uh, okay. Get back to Aryan. Got it. Uh, stuff is trying to chase me and failing, apparently. This Fortify Strength Potion lasts for my entire life. It's, it's just never going away, apparently. Oh, I believe
believe it's gone now. Yep, I slowed down because my weight got worse. Yeah, some stuff is trying to chase me, and it's not quite able to do so. Let me turn this mod off. Suits. Off. I'm just going to turn that off since it's not really working. And I don't know if that stuff following me may, have, may or may not be breaking the quest. Hello. Uh, fire hot. Well, there's no way around this now. There is only one course of action, Charlotte, but we must enter the elemental plane of flame and end this threat to our world. While we can never permanently clear this flame of all elementals, we can destroy their elemental lord and end any threat of an attack on our world. Enter their world, cast down the lord of that realm, and if you can accomplish this, bring me the essence of the fire lord so that I can seal it away and prevent them from ever returning. Okay, so we're going to the elemental plane of fire now? That's cool. I wonder how the elemental plane of fire fight's going to go. I'm going to guess they do a lot of damage, but I have a lot of fire shield potions. Which I'm going to take a shot in the dark and say will make the area a lot easier. So fire shield, the way it works, is it's basically resist fire, except it also damages enemies that attack you is basically the gist of it so 78 fire shield means I should take 78% less damage from fire attacks I think is how it works Whee. I am not an expert on Morrowind mechanics despite what you might believe <laughs> yeah I have no idea what I'm doing me down. I wonder why it gives you a prompt about if you want to climb down the ladder. Probably because there's really strong enemies down here, but there are also really strong enemies in the other place, and that didn't give me a warning, so just let me walk in. Who's the big fire elemental from World of Warcraft? I liked his Hearthstone card, the one that shot randomly. That was pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to quick save and then just jump in the hole, which I assume is what I'm supposed to do. I, I guess that's what I was supposed to do, jump down here. Don't mind me just resting next to this pool of magma. This pool of magma doesn't kill me. The pool of magma in the lighthouse, though, that that, that just instantly kills you. So, a quick save. A strange aura surrounds you and saps the magical potency from your levitate spells. The lord of this realm has suppressed your powers. Oh no! You're telling me I can't levitate? I mean, that's reasonable. jump in the hole. Am I gonna die? Yeah. Yeah, I am. So do I need slow fall? Do I have a slow fall spell? Do I have a slow fall spell? I don't think I do. I never felt like I needed one because I just can fucking levitate everywhere.
This will work. No, it won't. That's feather, not slow fall. Didn't Aryan give me a bunch of potions? Did he give me like a slow fall one? Apparently not. What if I use levitate? Will it act like slow fall? No. What if I jump in the hole and try and aim for the lava? Will that act like falling in water? No. No, it won't. I mean, maybe it will if I don't hit the, that ledge. I'll try that, and if not, I guess I have to go get a slow fall potion from my house. And if I have to do that, I might just call it for today. Okay. Yeah, that's going to do it for today, because I need a slow fall potion, and I do not have any. Let me... I'm fairly certain that I do have some in my house somewhere. I've been making so many random-ass potions, or maybe I have, like, a scroll of slow fall. I've got to have something that can cast slow fall. Very funny of them to turn off your levitation spells and then immediately make you jump into a giant hole that kills you. That's very fun and cool. But that's my mistake. I should have assumed that my levitation spells would no longer work and that I needed a potion to get down into a giant hole. What am I, an idiot? Okay, there's got to be a slow fall potion in here somewhere. Is it even called slow fall? There, there's gotta be, yeah, here. Slow fall for 30 seconds. This probably works. I'll look around. I'll look around my tent. See if I can find more slash better slow fall potions. I can probably make some. I didn't use all of my alchemy ingredients when I was doing my alchemy recently. So I can probably make some slow fall potions. And then next time we'll head back to Sobator and go back into the elemental plane of fire with a way to keep going. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.